Hey Odd Dogs, with track season beginning, I thought I'd invite the football head coach, who also happens to be the track head coach. Welcome, Byers. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming on down. So how are you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm good. A little tired. Hmm. We had a great practice yesterday, and we might, it might be a little rainy today and tomorrow, so we'll kind of have a light practice these next few days. Yeah, that's good. So how does it feel to run both the biggest programs in the school with doubling down as the football coach and track team being just as big? Uh, it's really nice. I mean, um, you know, obviously I always, my goal is always to be a football coach. Um, but then having this opportunity to also coach the track team has been a great chance to get to know um, a whole bunch of different kids. I mean, track is such a unique season. Um, in that like we have all these kids coming from all these different backgrounds um, and coming together to focus on creating a new team um, and a new in environment and so we got a really good looking team this year on the guys side and the girls side and so we're really excited about um, you know where we're going and and what we're going to be able to do this year. Right. I know being a part of the track team myself last year we had a pretty good year in the conference how do you plan to like, improve on that or maybe even win the conference this year? Yeah, I mean, Coach Lee and then Coach Galati um, both did a great job in, in creating the foundation of a, a really, our really solid track program and, and a tradition of excellence. And so, you know, we're just working to take that to the next step. Um, you know, we were fourth on the guys' side last year in conference. And then uh, so our goal this year is, is to be in that top two and, and keep improving and put ourselves – in position at the end of the meet um, to win it. And then on the girls' side, we have some really tremendous athletes. We were really, really young last year, um, and so now we've, we've brought back a lot of experience, which is really exciting. The big thing on the girls' side is just getting our numbers, numbers up, um, and that, you know, we gotta have more kids in the school who are invested in, in becoming better all-around athletes rather than just specializing in, in one sport. Right. So what are you expecting from this upcoming season? Do you have any goals set in mind for the guys or for the girls or what's up? You know, track's a, it's, a, it's so much different than, than football because like we talk about at practice, um, you know, we're focused on two, essentially two meets, right? The county and the conference as a team. Um, and so goal number one is, is win the county. Goal number two, win the conference on the guy's side and, and improve our standing on the girl's side. And then when we get to sectionals, sectionals is really kind of a, an individual event, right? Like what is your best event? What are you most likely to, to get out in? What are you most likely to be successful in? Um, you know, we got a guy like Jacob Burns who can run the 100, the 200. He can long jump. He can throw the disc. He could throw the shot. He could probably run the mile if we asked him to. <laughs> Um, and so when you get a guy like that, what's his best chance to get out come to sectionals? What's his best chance to potentially be running down in Bloomington? And, and our staff thinks that, that we got a few guys that have uh, a real shot at, at making it down to the state finals and, and competing in Bloomington um, at the end of May. Right. So I know you being the head track coach, there were some changes in the coaching staff. So tell me about that. I mean – not, not really. Other than you know, I, I just took over the head coach spot. Um, coach Debris was able to slide over. He was a 300 meter runner when he was in high school, uh, so he's working with the 300 hurdles and the 400. Um, coach Hammond still does an outstanding job with the the 110s and the the long jump. Um, coach Barney has coached multiple state qualifiers in in the throws, um, and then Coach Garcia slid from coaching sprints with me last year to now she's coaching uh, distance this year um, and she just does an absolutely phenomenal job. I mean, you got four track coaches who were all four track athletes in college. Like I, I did football and track in college. Um, Barney threw. Um, he was a football track guy. Um, Coach Hammond was a, was a soccer track guy. Coach Debris is a football track guy. Um, and then Coach Garcia is a cross country um, and track athlete. And so we have a really unique staff that, that has a lot of experience in a lot of different areas that we're able to draw from that makes it really, really exciting. Um, and we have that, a background in a lot of different sports 
to where we can help guys and, and girls who might not necessarily be like, oh, you know, I really love running. Like, I didn't love running. Um, but I loved track because I knew that it was helping me become a better football player. I knew it was helping me become a better wrestler. Um, and so I didn't really develop my love for track until I got to do it in college. Um, and, and that's when it really stuck with me. Right. No, yeah. I mean, like I said, I've been part of the track team since what, sophomore year. Mm -hmm. Then I had freshman year. And like you said, there's just loads of experience from you there, from Coach Hammond, Noah, all of them. Yeah, and our, our big focus this year is pushing that, that team chemistry, right? Like we want to see, we got 90 kids on the track team this year. We want to see all 90 kids lined up. You know, coach Lee and I were talking about it yesterday. And, and when he was the head coach, they used to do like, they used to do the wave as the, as the guys were finishing the, the four by four race, right? Like we want to have that kind of energy with the team. We want to have that kind of excitement for everybody, for each of our teammates while they compete. Um, and so we're really excited to see how this team not only grows as individuals, but really grows together. Right. So what's, uh, what's the schedule looking like? We start off, so we have optional practices over spring break um, because we've been practicing for six weeks so far. Um, and we are way ahead of where we've been in the past. But we come back and, and we get right into it. Our first meet is April 4th um, against Western Boone and, and Clinton Prairie. Um, and then that next Thursday, we're going up to Harrison in, in a really big meet. Um, you know, Harrison is the defending sectional champs. They're really, really good. And uh, it's a nice measuring stick of kind of, hey, this is where we're at early on in the season um, and where we're going to build. Because like I said, track's so unique from, from a, a football or basketball or baseball in that we're not worried about each and every single meet. We're focusing on how do we improve to be county champs? How are we going to continue to prove to be conference champs? And then what can we do as individuals uh, to go as far as we can in the IHSA tournament? Um, and I think our team's really set up to do really, really well this year. Uh, I'm really excited about um, all the guys and the girls that we have out, and they've just put in such a tremendous amount of effort. I mean, heck, I really appreciate the weather, too. I mean, we've been outside for what? I think three, four weeks. I yeah, I mean, when was the last time we were outside in February in Indiana? Right. So that's been pretty awesome. And that's helped us out a lot, too, because we're way ahead in training um, from where we usually are. Right. Well, there you go, Odd Dogs. The first track meet is April 4th against Weibo and Clinton Prairie, while the first home meet is April 22nd, which is the Hot Dog Invitational. That pretty much does it. You want to add anything? No. Uh, if, come on out and watch some track meets. If you're interested in it, you can always join next year. Uh, we're always looking to add new people, and we're excited for the season. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> thanks for coming on down. Thanks, Nelson.